Hello comrades, Ivan the German is back for you guys and today we are making a zero risk loot run with our scav because you should use your scav to make a lot of money and you can do that on several maps. One of my favorite maps of course is reserve. Yes I know the loading times or the waiting times or the matching times can be a bit long, that's right. But there's a reason for it, because you can loot so much on reserve, you have raiders, you have a lot of stuff. And in my opinion, the biggest enemies on reserve as a normal player are scav players. So you should be aware if you are a normal player, yeah, scav players are the worst thing on reserve because they are looting your loot and they will hunt you down because they are most of the times red sitting in bushes and waiting till you want to grab some loot, so be aware on reserve about a lot of rats sitting in bushes, especially this line is very popular in towers, all that stuff. But that's, that's not a topic for today's video. Today we're talking about making some loot as a scav because it's a zero risk run with your scav because you don't have to invest anything, of course a little bit of time and you have to have a little bit of luck for sure. So right now we have 33 minutes left and we have a Zyger shotgun which can be quite nice on the reserve. Uh, we spawned with our tactical sport headset so we have good sound and we have a dead scav over here which is free loot for us. If he still has something and he has another body armor and another Zyger with a mount and a flashlight that's great. Flashlights in my opinion way too underrated. Flashlights are crazy and he had some slugs grizzly slugs perfect so as you can see free profit and my rule for reserve it's like as long as you are in the raid the better loot you can get because a lot of player will leave the area after a couple of, of minutes they will die or they made their rooms and as right now we have 32 minutes left and the first player hit the electricity so we know for sure one player is around this area right now and in theory we can hunt him down to grab his loot or we can dodge him. So right now, as I said, oh, there we go. We had a hunter, right? Yes, we were going for the hunter. Because weapon hunter, one of the best weapons as a scav. And we'll get the hunter. So some juicy mayo and always guys, Search jackets. Loot the jackets. Great stuff in here. Vaseline is 40k right now, I guess. And it can help us right now very well. I'm a little bit curious about the nades. Jesus Christ, it's so loud. Oh. Okay, well. That's exactly what I mean. Very interesting what's going on on reserve. Thank you for that, my friend. Shit, 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 shit. Come on, man. There's something close to us. Always check mech, guys. If you get a new weapon, always check mechs. I heard some steps in this building right in front of me. A lot of stuff happened during the past seconds, so I have to get my information together. So I guess someone is right inside of this building over here. But I will dodge this guy, I will try to get some raiders because people are fighting right there. And I want to take apart. But that's reserve, guys. You can see how fast things went off. And we have to be aware of rats, of course, because um, a lot of guys will move to this area 
It's a wide open area. There's a lot of spots to hide. We have the marked room over here. We have still some, some time left. Train can come every minute. I guess train will arrive at 24 minutes on the clock. But it's fine. We, as a scav, and that's quite overpowered, your extracts are crazy on this map. As you can see right here, we have the hole and fence and the heating pipe, which are in this area behind this building. So very powerful extracts. And our current loot is quite okay. We have a silenced AK. We can work with that. We have some medical supplies. And the hose. We are in the early mid wipe. I know the hose isn't that expensive. Around 70k I guess right now. But maybe you're a player and you need some money and you need some extra ruble or you need the hose for your hideout. I didn't do that much during this scav run and we have quite some loot. So the interesting stuff is right here my friends. Of course if you're not too late we can get some good stuff. But as always we can still be too late but I don't think so. If there are a couple of raiders they will be some loot for us. So right now we have to be very patient. First we have some raiders in the area and of course some players in the area. Oh there we go, scaf player. Oh, he's a friend man. Of course you had a friend. First one down. Another one is ceiling. Okay. I will dodge them a bit. And right now you can see how powerful a suppressor is. They didn't know what's going on right there. Pretty good stuff. Oh, we had a good gun. Maybe try to grab his gun very quick. Oh, some juicy stuff over here. Oh, it's BP, man. That's that's great, man. This SKS BP can make the difference. There we go. Saw him over here. Perfect. Oh, man. That was close, mate, man. Jesus Christ, what the f... Fall a little back, almost empty, always check no max guys. I don't know if it's if he's dead. Whew. So this guy has some issues right now. Perfect, that's great for us. Yes, mad stuff. Perfect. Oh, perfect. I just take the important stuff from me. We'll come here for loot later on. I know this rig is bigger. I don't care about the rig right now. What's happening over there, mates? What's happening there? Some serious stuff is going on here. Oh, I can see something. Okay, this guy's down. Some. So, as I said on reserve, 
things can went off quite fast. But we are good to go, in my opinion, right now. But we don't have body armor. And we should heal ourselves a little bit. Just one quick thing. Man, this SKS made the difference, as I said. This SKS is so powerful. Modded SKS with PP is crazy. Okay, we killed this guy. We killed this guy. And don't loot your stuff immediately. Your loot will be there in the most of the times, but... That's what I mean. There's our shotgun guy. Perfect. This guy's also dead. About half. Can reload. And our exit is right here. That's perfect, man. Our exit is right, right here. But we will check the area. We will check what happened here. Ah, that's our second guy. Yeah, perfect stuff. Perfect stuff, guys. That went well. Let's go, man. And right now we made a lot of noises. We have to be quick. We have to be very, very quick. Oh, PCU. There we go. stuff away I will get the suppressor unfortunately I can't get the saw grip but my AK has another one let's take the helmet And as I said, always check the max. I know it's my secondary, but it's a nice to have gun, so uh, we shouldn't you should check always, always guys check your uh, check your max if you lit something. But as you can see, scaf players man, as I said. I hope for a little bit better loot, but uh, it's okay man. Oh, what's going on here? Ah, it's Propital. That surprised me a bit, man. I almost forgot my Propital. I have a fracture over here. I can't fix it. Not good, but I have some... Vaseline left. So, and from now on we can decide... Do we want to leave? Or are we staying? So I will upload this video no matter what to show you how fast things can can change and how fast you can get some loot over here. Um, the loot is okay in my opinion. And as I said we didn't do that much, we just killed some scav players. So the interesting thing is where did they get this gear and they killed some raiders. So I think maybe we have some raiders left in the area. And we killed a lot of scav players. Holy shit. So check the area. And what I like to do sometimes is go up here. And there's... Did I hear something? Yes, 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 yes. We heard something. Well, I thought it's closer. I thought I heard some steps. Before the shot went off. PD1. Oh, that's a player. Maybe, maybe the looted. No, it's found right, so. I don't know where they looted this stuff, but there must be some more. Where this came from, in my opinion. But I, I still have to be aware, I don't have that much healing. Our ammunition is a little bit low, because we dropped one mech. So we have 30 shots in the AK. And the question is... Where did they kill the raider? 
So the thing for reserve is, as I said, you have so much opportunities to make some loot. You can even loot this area. Jackets, duffel bags, what you want. You have so, so much stuff. Take like some small pieces like blue tape, measuring tape to craft your tool sets. It's important. Even if tool boxes aren't that valuable anymore, you need them for your hideout. You can use it to, to cross, craft something. So, as I said, it's a zero risk run. You can loot everything you want. Everything's profit. So for me, it looks like it's typical raider loot and not like Lucar guards loot. So I'm a little bit curious where the raider are. But even for reserve, I don't have like secrets to show you right now because everything is, is well known. It's more like go in as a scav and take your opportunity to to make something. But that's what I mean. You saw how many scav players died there because they're popular. But that's completely fine. That's completely fine if you are the winner at the end. The Zippo can be traded for some M67 or you can sell it directly. This makes it empty. Oh, another one. And another one. Holy man. That's because I finished the... Uh, or I have all my, my spark plugs. You need them for the quest car repair for therapists. Together with four car batteries. And of course, if you have them all, you will find them. And last wipe, I looted or I played so much on the reserve and I've never found a tank battery, man. It makes me crazy. Because right now I need it for, for crafting to make some tank batteries. You have to be very patient in this area because you have great cover over here. Player can snipe quite well and scav spawn is also over here right now. But yeah guys, for real I would say we should leave. We are overweight. We don't have that much ammo. We have good armor. I will check if I can see something through the windows and if not we will extract over here. I would say that's a perfect raid. I, if you're interested, I will try to make some more about some zero risk runs, what we can get out of this raids. But it really depends on you, what you like, and I will cover your interests and your demands, of course. This is a great pleasure for me on this channel to get you a better game experience, of course. But as I thought, I can't see anything over here. So no blue car or maybe he's dead. So. Yeah, but we should leave. Unfortunate we didn't fight raiders, but this two fights were very interesting. Yeah, it's very OP as a scav to to go and extract on reserve. That's that's crazy. So and as you can see, I will call it as a casual reserve run. Why? Because the gear is quite valuable, but it's not super special. But that's what you can make out of reserve. As you can see, everything is found in raid. So that's like this loot came from raiders. This loot here, the PSUs and the host, you can loot almost everything and you have a chance, a great chance on reserve to get this, this stuff. My inventory right now is quite messy because I want to show you something in another video about valuable items and looting in general. But yes, as I said, this is a standard reserve run. If you're interested, I will cover some more live runs and what you can do on which map. But as I said, it depends on you. Write in the comments, it would be very important to make some content for you guys.